Hey everyone, welcome back. Over this video, we're gonna walk through a meta CTF challenge that was in a MIDI CTF for Black Hills Information Security. There's gonna be four videos total walking through the challenges. This first one is gonna be an upload vulnerability. So let's jump right into it here. The challenge that we're gonna be going over is titled Just My Type. It's worth 375 points. There is some information like there's some tests were in, QA wrote some basic requirements at the time, which made the developer add some protections around file uploads. So that kind of gives us a hint that we're going to be looking at file uploads. We need to do some testing against it. I bet you can buy, find a bypass. And they gave us a flag location, which is always helpful. It's at the slash flag.txt on file system. Let's go ahead and access the website here. It's very basic. We have some information that's not super useful to us. Let's go ahead and visit our profile. Here we can see that there is a profile picture and just some basic phone number email stuff. Let's hit edit profile. And here we can see we have the option to browse and upload. We can kind of look here and see that, oh, looks like there is some PHP on the back end. The first thing that I want to try is just uploading a PHP backdoor. I already have a separate file for this mini CTF. The one line backdoor that I like to use, I will link it in the uh, description below, but if you have a different one you prefer, use that. So let's just go ahead and see. This isn't anything fancy. It just has the .php. Let's see if we get an error. We did get an error and it says only PNG files are allowed. The next thing that I'm going to try is adding on another file extension. So let's go into this file here on my terminal. I'm going to go ahead and copy that one line backdoor PHP file and I'm going to add PNG at the end of it to see if that can help us bypass that PNG requirement. So now we have that option. Let's try and upload that file. Let's go. All right, submit. We have a new error, which is fantastic. Only PNG files with a valid size are allowed. So now we know that there is a program that is checking the image size. The way to get around that, and there are a few different ways, this is the way that I did it, is we're going to try and add this back door to a PNG image. I have, as we had seen previously, image.png. It's just a simple PNG file I downloaded off of Google. So just download any PNG image should work for you. Now I'm going to use a program called EXIF tools. If you don't have that downloaded, go ahead and download that. That's what we are going to be using for this walkthrough to add that back door. Now I just kind of want to show you. So let's do this first. I'm going to open up this, uh, file so that we can see the back door. It's very simple. I'm going to copy it because we are going to want to add that to the PNG image. So let's go from there. We're going to add EXIF tool and I'm going to try and add this in the document name. We're going to add some quotations. Let's see here. Finish up those quotations and we're going to add it to image.png. So at this point, all I did was use EXIF tool. I did the document name equal sign, added the backdoor and then listed the image that we have in that little directory already. And it was successful. So after I hit enter, you can see we have one image files updated. Perfect. 
Now, like we already know, we're gonna need to add a PHP extension so that it will execute. So let's go ahead and add that by um, moving. So MV that image. PNG, if I can type today, obviously. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna do image.php.png. All right, let's go ahead and try and upload that file that we have just created. Here it is. All right, give it a shot. Awesome, we don't have an error. And it says you just uploaded a new profile picture. So let's navigate to our profile here and obviously we don't see anything. So let's just check to see if this is gonna show us where that file is at. Here is, let me see if I can zoom on in that. All right, so we can see the file path uploads, profile images, some random numbers and letters, and then image php.png. And that looks like a mess. It definitely looks like a mess. Something's going on. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but let's see if we can make this work for us. So I'm just adding a question mark there. Let's try and do command equals ls. Okay, so we still have some errors and weird symbols, uh, but we do see it did give us right here back some information. Let's see if we can get the flag. We'll see command, we'll try cat slash flag.txt and there we go we were able to navigate to the flag here that flag text file and then we're gonna copy this let's give it a shot and don't judge me because I don't I'm using a weird keyboard for this. Let's see if we can do this, submit. Awesome, so we have the flag. That was pretty simple, pretty easy. I personally love file upload vulnerabilities. There's so many different ways that you can try and get around them and I think it's great. I will see you on the next three videos because we have three more challenges as part of this mini CTF. If you have any questions, comments, let me know and please remember to subscribe and thank you for everybody, bye.